Hi everybody, Renee here. Welcome back to Luminous. We are gonna be doing some airbrushing and we're gonna do some lips and some cheeks and we're just gonna have a lot of fun. So if you are new to us, please be sure to subscribe to our channel right here and ring the bell if you don't wanna miss a thing because we don't want you to miss any of it. All right, my name again is Renee. I'll be here working through everything you need to know about airbrushing. So stay tuned, we are gonna have a lot of fun. Um, oh, here we go. All right, hi Jeannie, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. If you have not joined us before, please say hey. Welcome to our um, what our amazing community here so lovingly calls us the Luminous Sisters. They love hanging out together and talking to each other and getting to know each other. If by chance I miss a comment, please know that it is not you. There's a lot going on over here, so if I miss something, please feel free to send me an email, or if you wanna talk about something specific, or you have specific questions that you'd like me to address, let me know in my email or the comments below if I miss them, okay? So um, Michelle says that her mom got her system today and did her makeup with her mom's system. Wow, yes, that's awesome. Did you love it, Michelle? Love to hear how it went. All right, I'm gonna get started with a really, seriously, cult classic right here. This one is our Luminous Velvet Veil. And I'm going to put a little bit on my cheeks here. and rub that in. It is just going to blur away fine lines, pores, redness. Hi, Amber. Hey, Connie. Oh, welcome, welcome, my friends. So good to see everyone here. All right, let's do a little demo because everybody loves a good demo. Let's start with your system. This here is your legend system. All of the systems work the same way, so it does not matter what system you have. You're gonna turn that guy on. This is the stylus. The stylus has worked the same. The, they worked the same. So no matter what, the process will be the same. Let's throw this up here for you guys so you can see what we recommend. Michelle, you thought it was a little too close. No worries, you've got this. Just a little bit of practice will get you there. We're gonna try with our Mystic Foundation here, just to show you how this looks on a piece of paper. This is super fun to do on paper because, Michelle, let me ask you, you got your system today, you did with your mom's system. Did you try on paper first? Curious minds want to know. Hi, Denise, welcome. All right, so we are going to just get used to that feeling first with the air and use, always keep that stylus moving. Be sure to stay four fingers at least away from your skin and barely pull back on that trigger. Michelle, I wonder what will happen if you practice on the paper. I wonder how you'll feel about it. So we're just gonna use a few drops and that's worth every drop to get practicing. So see how nice and even we have our foundation distribute across? Oh, Denise, oh, Denise, I hear that Michelle has used your system. Look at that, okay? Everybody's friends and family here, I love it. So do you see how we get that nice evenness? Now, if you get too close, you start to see what you're doing. If you go back too far away and you release too much on that, see how much more product comes out and it actually is wet. So if you look up here, this is not wet. It's nicely, evenly distributed. How beautiful. Oh, I love it. We literally have actual family together. And you guys are our Luminous family. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Oh, I love, I love this Luminous family. Okay. So we've got our velvet veil on and you can see like completely smoothed everything out. It kind of just like 
takes care of everything there for you. All right, let's do, um, we were doing matte earlier. I wanna switch to ultra. And I have three and four here. And as you can see, our three needs a good shaking, right? So three needs a good shaking. And that's why we love Airbrush Foundation. It doesn't have all of the extra fillers in there that you might find in other products. Let's do a quick color match. We're gonna do a dot of the three and a dot of the four. See right there? And we're just gonna put them right on our skin. And we're going to rub those in with our fingertips or you can use a sponge, whatever way you like. You really just wanna see what's matching your skin the best. I'm thinking this three right here is blending in just perfectly for me. All right, all right, all right. So we, if you haven't said hey, please go ahead and say hey, we'd love to see you here. Let's go ahead and put, let's use the three. Hi Blush, Blush is joining us, everyone. Whoop. Sorry. Wow, that was exciting. I just sprayed some out of that. Sorry about that. I'm just going to use my makeup eraser cloth here. Hello. The dog has joined us. Hi, Luminous. Hello, hello. All right. So we are going to use just um, shade three. Put a few drops in there. Luminous is joining us. That's super exciting. Okay, we are gonna put a few drops in there and now we are going to replicate what we just did here on the paper and we're gonna start with one side, fill that all in and then we'll come to the other side. That's how I like to do it, just so I remember what side I did first. Also, it's a great opportunity to see how that all blends in together and I always love showing you like a side by side because that's always fun too. So I'm just gonna start at the top of my hairline. It doesn't matter where you start. You can start wherever you're the most comfortable with. You can start with um, where you have maybe a few more blemishes or you have more, where you need more coverage. It doesn't matter where you start. It The whole goal is just to try it. All right, so we're gonna start at the top of my forehead. Again, we're using that same technique that we said, four fingers from the skin, constantly moving and a barely trickle, I mean, barely pull back on that trigger. Michelle has a great question. Um, let me finish this side up so I don't, so I can see what I'm doing and then I'll come to your question in just one second. Mich uh, Michelle is talking about having some rosy cheeks and she just got the green color corrector and I will walk through some tips there for you. Now here's the beauty of our silk foundation and any of our airbrush foundations. If there is a certain area, oh my goodness, you definitely can see the difference there. Hi Michelle, there is a difference um, with airbrush foundation that you're able to build coverage simply by coming back over that specific area with another pass. So if you, for example, let's try it. I'm going to make my cheeks rosy with some airbrush blush just for an example purpose. So now I have a rosier cheek. You know what, maybe I'll make it even rosier than that. I'm gonna blend that in so it looks like a real rosy cheek. Michelle, I have not seen a picture of you, but I'm thinking we have some redness, maybe like this. Maybe this is more extreme, but that's okay. It's even better because we'll show you what to do. So as just as Luminous says, I'm going to start where I have my problem areas, which right now is this rosiness in my cheek. So I'm just going to build a pass 
over this rosiness first. Oh, Michelle, did I nail it? I haven't even seen a picture of you. So I'm just taking a pass or just kind of going in this area to build my coverage. So right now I have not done my makeup from top to bottom. I've just focused on the redness. We've got a great balance between both sides. And then I'm gonna come back at the top and then I'm gonna blend all of that in. Now this isn't like traditional blending where I have to keep moving stuff around. I'm just going to start from the top and come back down. And you can keep your motion going and let go of your trigger. I'm just using air right now and that kind of gives that time between your passes and lets it set up. All right, we've evened out that pinky tone. Oh, and I missed my nose. Coming back, I'm gonna take a few more drops here. I did need just a tiny bit, a few more drops. A few more drops because I needed a little bit more to cover that area and because it was a pretty large area, it did use just a tiny bit more foundation than if I was just doing an even pass all the way around. Hi, Deborah. Yes, great, great tip there, Luminous. As you could see, where I was, I kept a pretty broad stroke here. I didn't come in close. And as we showed on the demo paper here, if we come too close, see, we get that spray, that spread. Does that make sense? Oh, we've been airbrushing so long. We turned off, which is a great feature that we have that it turns that system off. So you don't have to worry if you get up to go make coffee and you forget that you leave it on. Don't worry, we got it covered. It's gonna turn itself off. All righty. All right, thank you Luminesse for tuning in and helping me out there. Great tips from Luminesse. And definitely, we can see we've evened out that we we fabricated some redness there and we evened that out. It's so fantastic. So you can start to use some of those techniques just as we learned, here we go. Just as we learned, we wanna keep that spreading out. All right. Okay. And when you do use that green color corrector very lightly because it could look a little greenish. So just a little bit goes a long way. And that's exactly what we say with everything we do with Luminous. A little bit goes a long way because it's so concentrated. And we also want that green to kind of help neutralize the redness, not necessarily give it an opaque coverage like your foundation can and build up for sure. All right, so that was our foundation. We tested, we did a color test. We um, practiced on our paper. We did application. We covered a problem area or an area of concern. And we can go into um, putting color back into our skin on purpose. And we're gonna do that with blush. Okay, so we're gonna shake up that blush. We're gonna go back into the Tulip blush. All right, let me show you up close. There we go. Make sure we get that zoomed in. That is the Tulip blush, shaking that up. Now it says one to two drops. It really just depends on how strong you like your blush. I And this is something that you are going to find with every single product that we have. Um, as you see, it gives a recommendation right here on that bottle, one to two drops, right? Great recommendation. But if you use less, 
that's okay. If you use more, also okay. It really depends. And that's what's so great about Airbrush Foundation and different cosmetics is because you're able to control how intense you want your blush, how subtle you want your blush. You could do your blush first and maybe you wouldn't cover it as much as we did on this time. Or honestly, even that Michelle, if you are, you can play with it. I've worked with many, many customers and clients over the years that use that pinky redness tone to their advantage. They actually use that as their lit from within blush. They just covered it just enough to soften it a little bit and then it just became a blush for them. So it's really up to you and to play with it and just see what feels comfortable for you because no matter what we do, no matter what, makeup is about you feeling comfortable in your skin. Whatever that looks like and feels like to you, that is 100% what this is all about. So thank you for asking these questions. It's so important for us to get through some of these questions that you might not be able to just so easily find searching around. And that's what we're here for. So thank you. Thank you for sharing those questions with us. And let's get to blush. All right. We're going to put the, the color back in where we want it. Same exact technique. No matter what product we're using, we're going to keep our stylus moving. We're going to keep that four inches from the skin. As you can see, four inches, four fingers, <laughs> four fingers from the skin. It's about four inches and you want to keep it moving. So you're just going to get this soft flush to the skin with the blush. Or if you want more, you can, let me show you really quick. We have a, a lot of different blush options in airbrush. We have Soft Rose Tulip, which I've been using, Natural, Apricot, and Plum. Apricot and Plum are, are um, what I would say, are a little bit more intense than the other ones that we have. So those are going to give you a lot of payoff for your, uh, for your blush. And then our, the Natural is going to be the softest. And Soft Rose and Tulip are somewhere in between, in my opinion. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much for your email, Deborah. I got that. I will respond. I promise. I said promise, please, if you have any questions, any comments, things that I may have missed here on our chat, because we sometimes, sometimes we get a ton of chat, sometimes we get a little chat. If I missed anything, please, please know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have please go ahead and send me an email. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. All right, guys. So I'm going to keep, uh, I think I'm done. I'm done. All right. Now here's the big question that we get a lot. Do I need to clean my stylus in between colors? Now, 100%, this has everything to do with what color you used before and what you're going to do next. So for example, if you did your eyebrows first, eyebrows first, maybe you used a darker tone or a color for your eyebrows and the next thing you want to do is a really light highlight color. You might want to flush out that system just a little bit with a little bit of water so that you don't have any of that residue from the dark color into the light color. Now, if I'm going from foundation to blush, I don't. I don't rinse mine out. Um, because I know that that blush will mix in just like Jeannie said right there. She mixes in a drop of foundation. So if I have a little foundation left in my stylus, no big deal because it's going to mix into my blush just a little bit. And Jeannie likes to mix blush and so she uses her blush as an eyeshadow as well. Mixes in Tulip Natural and one drop of foundation. Jeannie, can you let everybody know how easy is it to actually mix I mean, you sound like a scientist, a chemist over there. Can you tell us how, like, how easy that is to create or let everybody know the process? Is it really easy or let us know? I mean, I can tell you one thing, but it's really important to hear from Jeannie because she is an amazing customer. All right. I'm going to take our love here. Whoop, there we go. Love. Love. You guys know if you've been here, and I think that you've all been here you know that all we need is love. And because I used our ultra foundation, which is giving me a little bit of that dewy foundation look, softly made 
a little bit more subtle because I did put some velvet veil underneath. I am gonna come back in with our love. It's a hydrating luminizer. I love this right here on the cheek and I love that you're definitely gonna get a before and after. And, oh, Genius is so easy and fun. And Luminous says that Genie is a mixologist. I like that one, Luminous. All right. I'm gonna turn to the side because you can actually see the love not go on as a color, but it definitely comes on as a beautiful finish. Do you see the difference? Glowy, totally different. You definitely can see a change. Guys, if you have other recipes <laughs> like Jeannie does, let me know. Send me an email. I want to see what recipes you're coming up with for your combos that you like because then maybe I could try them on our lives and share with them, share those combinations for everybody because that's really fun. I, I mean, that's the coolest thing about Airbrush. You can add love into your foundation. If you want it to be a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more glowy, you can put it underneath. You can mix it in. But I mean... Quite literally, the possibilities are endless. So you guys have all of the control and you can make it what you want. Deborah sees it. She loves to see the love. Girlfriend, me too. I love it. Um, Amber is, Amber so great. She always makes everyone feel so welcome. Thank you so much, Amber, for tuning in so much and always emailing me. I love to see your emails because they always make me smile. So thank you guys for doing that. All right. Um, now what? Let's do some mascara because we do have, I'm going to stick with this um, aquamarine eyeliner, the Temptation eyeliner, and really just letting that shine. I'm letting that shine on my eyes today. So we're going to finish with that mascara. And I'm going to do a really, um, really beautiful lip color. Um, it's really fun. All right. Hey, Candy. What's up, girl? Okay. Welcome, welcome. If you are new to us, please say hey. We want to say hey to everyone that comes on. Also, if, you, um, if you're new to us, please subscribe to our channel. We walk you through everything that you need to know about airbrushing from start to finish, exactly what comes in your kit, how to get started, what it, what it is, what to do with it, some tips for practicing, ways to hold your stylus. We walk you through that every time. And then we go into a little bit more and we show you different cosmetics that we have with Luminous Beauty. We go through all of that. So please go ahead and subscribe because you don't want to miss it. We have a lot of fun. And I keep saying we because I also have my girl, Heather, who comes on live Another makeup artist here with Luminous, she comes on live with us in the afternoons and she takes it away. So if you don't know our schedule, we do have it pop down running below right here. We are 8, 10, 12, 2, and 4, Monday through Thursday. And on Friday mornings, we are coming to you at 8 and 10 a.m. All right, I am... I mean... I'm going to do this one eye with mascara and then I'm going to let you be the judge because I mean, hello, should I come closer? Do you need to see me closer? Do you need to see me closer? Okay. Wow. Check those lashes out. Hello. Distraction mascara. Thank you. I mean, seriously, I'm like, <laughs> you can see them from this side. Can you see them from this side? Okay. Love this. Guys, do you know that you need to replace your mascara every three months? Did you know that? Super, super, super important. Why? You might be asking yourself why. Because 
Thank you, Deborah. Uh, Candy, no eyeshadow, just eyeliner today. I'm feeling very summery, and I have gone with my summer feel just. I love that, letting that eyeliner shine. Okay, so if you didn't know that about your mascara, let's talk about it. Your eyes are very sensitive. And when you keep opening that product up and putting it back in, you run a higher risk of adding to that mascara some bacteria or anything else that could be floating around. So we have to protect our eyes. Also, you just keep pushing air inside. And guess what's inside? It's dark and wet and actually bacteria and ickies, that's a very specific scientific word, tend to grow in there. So we want to replace that mascara every three months. Because your eyes, you only, get, you only get one set or two eyeballs. So we want to make sure that we take care of them. So that is definitely, we want to keep replacing our mascara. So if you got some old ones sitting in the bottom of your cosmetic drawer, it might be time to say goodbye and grab a new one. What's also great is that you can put mascara on auto delivery, everyone. You can put it on auto delivery and you can set it and forget it. You don't even have to think about it. It's just gonna show up at your door. Oh, I know, I love Deborah's. I love Deborah's emojis. And yes, Candy, it can dry out, it can. And the thing is though, is that for most people who don't use their mascara a ton, it actually sometimes doesn't dry out, so we think it's still okay. And it could be sitting in that drawer for a year. Guys, when it comes to your eyeballs, don't mess around. All right, there we go. Totally. Okay, so if you're not doing it to your eyeshadows, play with your eyeliner just a little bit more. All right, reaching over here because I'm feeling I wanted to grab a different different lip. I'm gonna try something super cool. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but I'm feeling a little fun with my lips today because I have just a little pop on the liner. So I'm gonna use Paradise Lip Stain, and then I'm gonna add on their Flamenco, which is a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna start with a stain, and I'm gonna do a little Flamenco on top and kind of mudge them together. That's a word, right? All right, so this one, guys, is Paradise Forever Rain Lip Stain, Holy Summertime. Thank you, Jeannie. All right. I love this color. Oh my gosh, I love this color. Guys, if I don't do my bottom lip, it kind of looks like I have a paradise mustache. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Candy's been going to school. For makeup. Oh my goodness. Deborah wants me and Heather on auto delivery. Yeah, girl, it's called set your notifications. Uh, Jeannie went to cosmetology school. Hey, Connie. All right. Just like a few seconds to let it set. Push it in. All right. Now... Let's use flamenco. Okay. Pa, pa, pa. 
I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just trying it because we tell you guys to experiment and have fun. Oh, my. Oh, stop it. Speaking of the front door, Deborah, shut the front door because, whoa, do you guys see this? Do you see this? Oh, I'm about to take my hair down. Don't play. You know what happens when I take my hair down, guys? Look at that. Oh, I love. Okay, guys, write it down. Paradise lip stain. Number one. Layer it on. Let it set a half a second. Just so it'll set in. Number two is flamenco. Paradise and flamenco. Turn those over. Just kidding, those are upside down. <laughs> Paradise and flamenco. Stop it! You guys, oh look, here it comes. Can't tell me nothing now. You know how I get when I put my hair down. Oh my goodness, do you guys love this color? Oh, I love, oh, I love it. So look, I can just do a little pop of liner, a wow lip, and really get that summer loving vibe going on. Nice, bold lip. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys, you have to put this on your wish list. I've never tried this before. Paradise lip stain. Paradise lip stain and flamenco vinyl. That's gonna give us that shine. See the shine? Oh my gosh, guys, get this for summer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, Deborah. Um, Candy, not sure what you're asking um, for the email. Um, my email address, I can throw that up for you. I can't send the link to the actual colors because it just comes to the lip stain and it just comes to the lip stain and the the um, vinyl page, but I'm happy to send that. It just won't come up the color. So you guys have to write that down because once you get on there, you can pick the color. All right. Hang tight. Here we come. All right. Okay, you just have to write, write those num those um, names down. Paradise. Hold on, give me a minute. Paradise and vinyl in flamenco. Okay, um, I'm getting the link, so hang tight. All right, hold on guys. Of course, right now when I try to grab these for you, my, uh, oh, this would be the case. My lovely keyboard is acting super sensitive. All right, links in the comments, everybody. So you have uh, lip vinyl, and remember that's flamenco, and the lip stain is paradise. All right, guys, I am done for you today. Miss Heather will be here to, ooh, I hear your teeth. Um, <laughs> Miss Heather will be here for the afternoon, and she will also be, uh, She'll be here this afternoon and she'll be here tomorrow morning. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye, guys.